last time, since it's a relationship with God, it's our vertical, vertical relationship. It's from man to God and God to man. Now, tonight, we're going to talk about our horizontal fellowship, our horizontal relationship. Man to man, man to woman, man to family, so on and so forth. Anyway, so guys, can we read this first? Hi, Basa. Everyone, one, two, three. Christian fellowship things for the purpose of glorifying God. Alright. Wala, gusto ko lang kapabasa. So, later, malalaman natin why. So, first, what is fellowship? Can you guys, uh, what comes to mind when you say fellowship? May gusto mag-shout out. Anything. Ha? Huh? Friendship. Friendship. Alright. What else? Hohol. Alright. Hohol daw. Alright. So, uh, nag-research ako, I searched the net. Ito yung, uh, ito yung binigay niyang definition. Fellowship is friendly association, especially with people who share one's interest. A group of people meeting to pursue a shared interest or aim, a guild or corporation. Um, so, ano yung meron dito? It's one's interest, di ba? They have their common interest. So, in the Bible, the word fellowship, in the Bible, the word, the Greek word that they use is, where is it? There. Koinonia. Can you say it? Koinonia or koinonia. Koinonia. Again, guys, sige na. Let's be lively. Koinonia. All right. It means communion, fellowship, sharing in common, something widespread, partnership, fa- familiar and ordinary. It comes from the word common, which is the heart meaning of the word. So, again, ano yan yung Greek, Greek word? Koinonia. Koinonia. All right. Koinonia. Okay. Ito is another... It's this definition is closer to uh, yung closer to what I want to focus on. Fellowship is a relationship between individuals which involve active participation in a common interest, and as a result of our participation in the common interest, we have a residual interest in one another. Ang haba no, but key points: active participation and common interest. So guys, again, to have fellowship, what do you need? Individuals, sorry, hindi ko na ano, highlight. Individuals, which involves active participation in common in a common interest. Alright, so with that, um, example, yung kanina, yung game natin kanina, what did, what did it involve? Common interest, what's the common interest? To win the cloud nine. <laughs> diba? To win the prize, common interest. It involves individuals with common interest and active participation. Lahat naman na kayo nagsalita, di ba? O may mga nagtumunganga lang. Lahat, lahat, lahat naman nagpass the message, no? Guys? Yes? No? Yes. All right. So that's uh, one example. So my next question is, what are examples of fellowship? Sige, we're defining first fellowship, then we'll go to the meat of the message. All right? What, what are examples? Guys, kilala nyo to. <laughs> All right, sino to? <laughs> As a whole, sino sila? Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, di ba? It consists of individuals with different backgrounds. Dalawang human or tatlong human, one elf, one dwarf, and four hobbits. Habits, hobbits, hobbits. Hobbits. All right. And what, what's their common interest? Aning Saan sila? Ano yung common ano nila? They're, to destroy the ring. Alright. <laughs> okay, to destroy the ring. Ah, distract bro. <laughs> okay. But, di ba, uh, nung, uh, when they were traveling, nagkahiwalay-hiwalay din sila. But still, they had that common interest. And they knew what the other group needed, di ba? Like si Aragon, they, he had to distract the enemy para makalusot sila Frodo, so on so forth. Alright? So, what else? What else? Uh, ano po ba yung mga examples ng fellowship? This one. You guys know this guy? Two, two seasons ago. Spurs. Alright. Woo! 
Spurs, diba? Fellowship can also be in a team. In a team setup. Team. Uh, why? They have their common interests. Individuals. That actively participates. I chose Spurs kasi two seasons ago, they were the number one team because of their teamwork. Diba? Hindi yung mga... They have the big three, but... Diba? Sila Kawhi, sila Green, sila... Whoever, yung mga iba pang teammates nila, ang laki ng contribution eh. Anyway, what else? Uh, examples of uh, fellowship. Corporations, companies. Sino dito nagtatrabaho sa corporation? Sa kumpanya? Uh, uh, yung iba, sa kayo nagtatrabaho? <laughs> Self-employed or student. Uh, anyway, fellowship. Another, last, would be uh, Christians. So guys, can we read again this one? All right. Christian fellowship is doing things together for the purpose of glorifying God. So guys, why do we need fellowship? Can, can someone, again, shout out. Why do we need fellowship? Why do you think we need fellowship? For encouragement. For encouragement. What else? One more. Accountability. All right. Nalalim ng mga ano natin, ha? Um, again, Going back to the Lord of the Rings, they needed each other, diba? They helped each other. And again, with the NBA team, with, with the Spurs, diba? It is the same thing. Nagtutulungan tayo eh, when we have fellowship. We have the support team that we need, diba? Uh, for, diba? For, for us, personally, diba? Sometimes we need, not sometimes, we need fellowship. Yung mga barkada natin. Who are the, yung mga madalas natin kasama? Diba? Sila yung mga most of the time nagsusupport sa atin. Our D-group. Diba? Uh, our close friends. Our barkada. <laughs> Alright. Our buddies. Session buddies. Anyway. Um, uh, okay. Diba? I- I- may kita nyo minsan uh, online. Diba? Why, why, why do you think, guys, why do you think na it's always funny pag nakikita natin yung mga forever alone memes. How do you think? Di ba? Ano ba yung, may example ba ako dito? Yes, I have. Uh, this one. Ayan, forever. It's so sad, di ba? Forever alone, table. Next one. Di ba? Para, Ah, ang sakit-sakit, di ba? Prom, tapos ikaw lang mag-isa. And then yan, oh, kiss come from the, from the States, di ba? Such a loser. Anyway, so, eto, eto yung meme na to. Sino to? Si Forever Alone. Why do you think, guys, why do you think it's funny? Why, at top of mind, why do you think? Because it's true. Because it's true. That's one. And I think because it's out of the ordinary, di ba? It's deep in our hearts, we know na we're, we're not supposed to be alone in this, in the world. Deep in our hearts, alam natin, we, we have that longing for friends, for barkada, for companionship. Deep in our hearts, we know it's somewhat abnormal to be alone. That's why it's funny. Nakakatawa eh. Diba? So, lahat naman tayo nagdaan dyan. Okay, again, conclusion, diba? Are we all in agreement that we all need fellowship? Yes. All right, guys, kayo. Yung mga hindi sumagot. Yes. <laughs> sige, sige, ako sagot. Yes. Hey, we're all in agreement that we need fellowship. So, what does the Bible say about fellowship? In Genesis 2, 18 to 22, can we read this? Then the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the sky and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called the living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all the cattle and to the birds of the sky and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper suitable for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs, closed up the flesh at that place, The Lord God fashioned into a woman the rib which he had taken from the man and brought her to the man. So, 
Going back. First book of the Bible, second chapter. Doon pa lang, guys. Sinabi ni God, It is not good for man to be alone. Diba? And I will make him a, su- uh, a helper suitable for him. So guys, ito pa lang, doon pa lang, uh, sinabi na ni God, eh. diba? that we are made for fellowship. We are made to be with friends. We are made to have, uh, again, fellowship. Um, and uh, at first glance, diba, since alam natin yung story ni Adam and Eve, of course, when you read this, diba, parang, ah, because you know, yan yung love story ni Adam. Eh. Guys, can you read the uh, verse 19? Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bird of the sky, brought them to man, and see what he would call them. So guys, kumbaga parang, when, when God saw that it is not good for man to be alone, binigyan niya muna ng friends. Kumbaga, yung mga beast of the seas. Uh, beast, beast of the field and birds of the sky. Diba? Until, nakita niya na, well, he has those friends already, but still, there, wala pa rin suitable helper. So, binigay ni God si Eve. Diba? So, who brought who? Diba? Did, did, did Adam ask for God, uh, for, for Eve? <laughs> for God. Did Adam ask God for Eve? Lord, Panginoon, suitable helper, kailangan tulong. No, di ba? He didn't ask. God was the one who gave. Di ba? In, in, in verse 22, in verse 22, uh, there, and brought her to the man. It was God who brought her to the man. So, again, this goes, we, what do we, ano yung matutunan natin dito? What can we learn from here? Relax lang, just wait. Guys, Again, it is not good for us to be alone. But, you know, God knows our heart. And He will give us the people we need to support us. Okay. Alright, next scripture. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 12. Again, let's read this aloud. Two can accomplish more than twice as much as one. For the results can be much better. If one falls, the other pulls him up. But if a man falls when he's alone... He is in trouble. Also, on a cold night, two under the same blanket gain warmth from each other. But how can one be warm alone? And one standing alone can be attacked and defeated. But two can stand back to back and conquer. Three is even better, for the triple braided cord is not easily broken. Guys, again, this was this book was written by the wisest man until now, diba? King Solomon. And what did he say? In agreement with God. Two, two can accomplish more than twice as much as one. So two or more is better than one. Um, I'll, I'll show you a quick, siguro, mo, most likely nakita nyo na tong video na to, but to, to support, to ano, support my, uh, there, my point. strength in numbers. Diba? Ayan yung fellowship. Diba? Kaya nga may barkada mentality tayo. Eh. 
Regardless if you're introvert or extrovert. Diba? There's strength in numbers and we need people. Alright. So, another ana- analogy. Sige, balik tayo sa mga analogy, analogy. Um, sa movies. Sino nakapanood ng The Avengers? Yung first, yung first movie. Avengers. Majority naman nakapanood. No? Alright, sige. Gagamitin natin siya. Uh, Alright. Um, in the first part of the movie, diba, they had their own goals. May kanya-kanya silang gustong gawin. Diba? Wala silang uh, common interest. But after the agent, who's the agent? Agent Colton? Huh? Colson. Agent Colson. When Agent Colson died, died in that movie, diba, they, they had the common goal na to avenge Agent Colson. So, again, what, what is fellowship? Tatlong criteria. Individuals with common goals, interest, active participation. So, diba? Guys, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung Avengers, panoorin nyo. So, yun lang. Uh, <laughs> So, okay, uh, okay, sige, ito, itong part, so, medyo, let's, let's use sports as an illustration. Sino, sino naglalaro ng, sino naglalaro ng frisbee muna? Frisbee. Frisbee. Just a few. Okay, so, hindi ko siya gagamitin. Sino naglalaro ng basketball? Or no of basketball? Volleyball? Talaga, guys. <laughs> Seryoso? Alright, anyway. Guys, in those, again, diba, sabi natin, in basketball, again, yung Spurs, the Spurs team, diba, they were number one because of their teamwork, not because of uh, superstars or whatever, because of their teamwork. Guys, um, in, a, in uh, team sports, we need to interact with our teammates. Kung hindi, anong tawag sa'yo when you're doing things on your own? MVP. <laughs> Buakaw, di ba? Or baliw, di ba? You're doing things on your own. Buhaya. Ayan. In English, crocodile. Tama ba? O alligator. Lacoste. Okay. <laughs> Alright. In team sports, we have to interact with our teammates. We have to strategize with them. We won't be able to do it on our own. In basketball, in volleyball, in... Uh, Sabi niya, maski ano, maski badminton. You, you need mas badminton di ba yung one on one kailangan mo pa rin ng, ng ano eh ng kasama eh it's weird you playing badminton ikaw lang mag-isa di ba si no singles but you still need your op- opponent di ba kailangan mo pa rin na may kalaban and in sige sports another sports na ano uh, na mag-isa ka lang squash o squash ba yun yung tinatama mo sa wall pelot ano yun hay hay ala hindi Squash, squash. No tayo sa squash. No tayo hay alay. It's a team. With squash, di ba? Actually, with squash, you're also, in a sense, competing with another. You're competing with yourself. Ahabulin mo. Ah, yun doon bin na to. Ahabul ka yung ganyan. Anyway, it, it takes two people or more to play those kinds of sports. Or to play any sports. Uh, I asked a friend, why do we think that we need those, those things? Di ba? Ang sagot lang niya, well, so, uh, it's not as nearly as fun when you play your, on your own. Uh, do you guys agree? It's not as fun. Kung ikaw lang mag-isa. Lalo na sports or in anything. Diba? Um, what else? Uh, okay. There are rules. Again, supporting my ano lang. There are rules like in basketball, in volleyball, in badminton. That you, like in basketball, you can't catch your own pass. Diba? That's what you call double dribble or something else. You can't. Diba? Hindi mo pwede, pasa mo doon, tapos ikaw rin yung sasalo. Diba? It has kailangan either tumama sa kalaban or turn over ng, from the opponent. Like in volleyball, pag tinamaan mo yung ball, you can only hit it once. Diba? As a person. Tapos bigay mo na sa ibang teammates mo. So what's my point? Again, diba? we need other people. We need to interact with them. Okay. So, ex- another example would be this group. Filled Fridays. Diba? This group is another avenue to have fellowship. It is actually a fellowship now. What? Three criterias. Individuals. Tayo, individuals naman tayo, diba? 
common interest, what? To get to know God. And active participation. Yeah, I, I, oh, I'm talking, you guys are listening, and later it's a breakout group. You'll be sharing if you're okay with that, right? So it's, a four, uh, it's another fellowship. Okay. So may I have to say that if I do it on my own, most likely I will fail. But if I do it with my team, most likely I have that support that I need, regardless if it, regardless if it will uh, succeed or fail. At least I have that team to support me. All right, so there's a saying from the Tal- Talmud. Yeah. Can we read this? A man without companion is like the left hand without the right. Again, it is, it is not normal. It's not normal. That's why, again, we go back to the memes. It's not normal to be alone. Of course, we can enjoy our alone time. But not, not all the time. Okay. So with all that, with, uh, with uh, any questions? What is fellowship? And why do we need fellowship? And what does the Bible say? Next question is, what is Christian fellowship? Is there a difference? Yes, no? Yes, yes, there is a difference. Okay. Then again, Let's define a fellowship, uh, a normal fellowship, a worldly fellowship, kumbaga, is, has temporary accomplishment, while a Christian fellowship is living for eternity. Again, guys, can we read this? Christian fellowship. For the purpose of glorifying God. Diba? So, in short, Christian fellowship is Christ-centered. It is centered on God. Our common interest is God, our relationship with God, getting to know God, glorifying God. Okay. In Matthew 18 to 20, 18 to 20, 18 to 20, for where, can, guys, can we read? For where to? Nice. Ganda ng passage, no? Where, where two or three have gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Guys, the context of this passage, of this verse, is actually, it's discipline. Kasi you, you verses before this, you know, saying that my brother sila or sister, that's not, uh, actually that's sinning or in sin. So, yung kwento nun is, uh, First is you talk to that person. If ayaw niya makinig, get another one. Pag-usapan niyo. Ayaw pa rin makinig, bring him to church. Pag-usapan niyo. Ayaw pa rin makinig. Then you, then you discipline it. Bigyan niyo ng discipline, disciplinary action. Diba? But with the, with the discernment from God, with the, the, with the discernment of God, with the, uh, you have to pray together and ask God. So, sinabi niya dito, for where two or three have gathered together in my name, I am there in their midst. So, they were asking for God for directions. Lord, paano ba, ano ba gagawin namin dito? Diba? So, it has God's approval because they were asking God. And this, is what, this was his reply. I am in their midst. Guys, also in our fellowship, when we are together, when we ask God to guide us, and there will be, there will be, uh, God will be in there. Diba? Um, yeah. Okay. As, as Christians or followers of Christ, again, our common purpose should be to glorify God in everything we do. Where am I? Okay. Why do we need Christian fellowship? Mm, do this. Okay. Guys, meron ba kayong ano? May, may tanong ba kayo? Is it clear? Is everything clear? Okay. Alright. So, okay. If you have questions, you can ask the breakout leaders later. <laughs> so, guys, ha? Handa kayo sa questions. Alright. So, why do we need Christian fellowship? Diba? It's the same answer to why we need fellowship. Because being alone is not normal. And we need the support that we need. And again, 
Ito, and not again, but may dagdag. Because it is a command. It is a command from God. And, oh, so what are you talking about? What's command? Here, in John 13, 35 to 34, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one, uh, if you have love for one another. Ilang beses sinabi yung love one, love one another? Count. One, two, three. Three times. Diba? So, what's the commandment? What's love one another? Alright. Is, is, it, is it for us? Nandiyan eh, diba? Is loving one another for us? Our common interest, our, our common goal. Is it loving? Is it for us? It's in 35. By this, all men will know that you are my disciple. Again, it is for the glory of God. It's not for our glory. Diba? We don't love because, eh, love. Diba? It is, we love because, so that people will know that we are followers of Christ. <coughs> Alright. Next. It is, again, it is our witness to the world, to the people who don't know Christ. Again, this commandment, uh, love one another. Again, let's read this. Christian. All right. So how do we have Christian fellowship? Guys, what, what, what uh, this uh, next few uh, scriptures uh, or passages. This, these are examples. Okay, uh, it's not the formula or anything, but examples that we can learn from. Okay, again, Acts 2, 42 to 44. They were continuing devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. E- Oops, sorry. Every, everyone kept feeling a sense of awe, and many wonders and signs were taking place through the apostles. And all those who had believed were together and had all things in common. Again, all things in <laughs> Guys, all things in? Oh, come on. Again, what are the three criteria for fellowship? Individuals, common interest, and active participation. Okay, so guys, what were they doing? In verse 42, they were devoting themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the fellowship. What? They ate together, they prayed together. Again, they have one common interest, God. Uh, yeah, they had one common interest, God. It's so hard to do something without a common interest. Can, do you guys agree? Um, in a company, pag kanya-kanya kayong goals, wala, ang hirap. That's why in companies, they have this team building. Diba? To realign the staff, the people, the, the, the team to the company's goal, to the company's mission and vision. Diba? Agree? Yeah. Yes. In, in Field Fridays, before we did this, eh. doon kanila mat. Diba? We, we ate together, we prayed together, and we realigned ourselves. Ano yung mission and vision for this ministry? So, again, they were together and all had things in common. Another passage, Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembly together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. And all the more you see the day drawing near. This passage has an eternal perspective. Why? As, uh, ito yung, yung last part yun eh. And all the more you see the day drawing near. What's the day drawing near? Coming of Christ. Diba? Yeah, the coming of Christ. But, let's, let's, that's another topic. So let's go back. 24, let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds. Diba? So in this passage, what, what did he do? They encourage, stimulate. Ano ba stimulate sa Tagalog? 
Alam niyo ba? Ano yung simili sa Tagalog? Mawa, ano yung simili sa Tagalog? <laughs> anyway, whatever it is, is to stimulate. Huh? Ikuan? I- I- ikuan. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stimulate one another. To encourage, to exhort one another. They lifted up one another and they did not forget to be together. Again, like it's a D group again. Parang it's a D group setting, di ba? And in a D group setting, what do we do? We encourage one another. We stimulate one another to love for good deeds, di ba? We're accountable to each other. And we meet once a week. That's why every time na umakit dito, every, every Friday, we encourage people to join the D group. Why? Because if you want to learn more about God, if you want to grow with God, grow with other people, grow with other Christians. All right. Where am I? Here. No. Sorry, guys. Wait. Okay. So, I know what Okay. So, yeah, D groups. Encourage D groups every week. And Bible studies <laughs> here. Next. Again, ito na naman siya. Christian fellowship is? Proverbs 27, 17. Can everyone read? Iron. And then the NLT version. Alright. Ito, nandito na tayo sa medyo meet nung, nung how to have Christian fellowship. Okay. So, basically, what this says is friends sharpen friends. Di ba? Do you guys agree? But again, let's go deeper to the analogy of iron sharpens iron. Uh, it is impossible to sharpen iron with wood. Do you guys agree? Have you tried sharpening iron or knife or sword with wood? Hirap, di ba? Okay. So, the, actually, when you try, because oh, hindi siya, hindi siya yung, hindi, uh, uh, when you're trying to sharpen a knife using a wood, it's not, yun yung, hindi yun yung purpose. It's not their common interest, kumbaga. Do you guys get me? Do you guys kind of get me? Do you guys kind of understand? Yes? Okay. It's not their common interest. Eh. So, but actually, the more pilitin mong ma-sharpen yung knife sa wood, the more that you actually break the knife. Lalo lang siya nasisira. Diba? The more that it gets duller. So, if you want to be a better businessman or a successful businessman, it helps to hang out with successful entrepreneurs. Because you get, you get, to learn from them. It helps to attend what? Seminars. Talks about business. If you want to be successful in sports, in frisbee, or basketball, to hang out to, to play with good players. You guys agree? Yeah. When we play, gusto natin palagi is level up. And, ako, ito, recently, if you want to get healthier, Sexier. It's so, it's gonna be so hard if you mga barkada mo, uh, couch potato. Tapos kasama, wag kasama. Guys, exercise tayo. Game. Di ba? <laughs> Nagalit yung ano. Stand. So, it's hard. So, if you want to eat, ganyan, for me, if you want to eat healthier, it's hard for, if I uh, have dinner with people who wants uh, crispy pata, or sisig, or yung mga hindi healthy. Well, okay lang naman kainin yun, but you know, if you want to eat healthy, it's so hard. Punta ka dun, punta ka sa mga restaurant na ganun. Diba? So, where am I? Again. Okay. So, if you want to live a, li- a life that is pleasing to God, it helps to surround ourselves with people who live surrendered lives to God. Diba? John Ron, uh, Jim Ron says, you become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Do you, ag- do you guys agree? Diba? You become 
the average of the five people you spend time. So my first point is, in this passage, do the people, ask yourself, do the people I hang out with make me sharper or duller? Do the people I hang out with make me sharper or duller? Again, going back to iron sharpens iron. What is the purpose of a knife? What is the purpose of a knife? To cut. So, how can you cut something if it's dull? If it has no edge? It's hard. You won't be able to cut anything if it's dull. In order to, again, to make it sharp, you have to sharpen it. You have to use the right tools. Diba? Have you have you guys tried sharpening uh, a knife? Hirap yung diba? O kaya, yung, yung sa, yung sa bato, dahan, dahan, hindi pinag- You can't do it really fast. Dapat slowly but surely, diba? Slowly but surely. It is tedious and meticulous work. Diba? Basically, if you're doing it, pag, if you're not doing it correctly, nagiging nasisira yung knife again. Diba? Basically, what you're doing with the knife is removing, uh, re- removing the parts that no longer contribute to the sharpness of the knife. Yeah. It's the same with our friends and our fellowship. <laughs> can you relate? All right. So, I think we, I think everyone, one can relate. It's the same thing with our friends, diba? You have to take good care of when we're sharpening them, diba? It can be, it can, it can be very easy to see the flaws and cut them down, diba? It's, but it's so hard. But yeah, it, it can be easy to cut them down. But sometimes we, sometimes, diba? Of course, sometimes they need to hear the truth. And sometimes the truth is painful. Diba? But we must remember to speak the truth in love. Do you guys agree? Yes. Have to sp- <laughs> Sila lang. Guys, do you guys agree? Yes. All right. We have to speak the truth in love. But it also comes both ways. Guys, pag tayo naman yung nasabihan, let's be, you know, diba? let, let, let's, let's give them the benefit on the doubt. Na naman, they're not telling us painful things, if painful siya, just to, just to make us uh, feel bad. Diba? You're doing that out of love. You have to, it, it comes both ways. You must remember that this, uh, you must remember when our friends tell us things that, it, that we don't want to hear, they don't take pleasure in the friction, but they do it for love. Okay, for, uh, for Proverbs 27, 17, iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Iron sharpens iron, so as a friend sharpens a friend. So my question for this one is, do the people I ha- do the people you hang out with make you sharper or duller? Second question is, when sharpening a friend, do we apply love to that? Do we apply gentleness in the words that we use? Yeah, yeah. Just ask yourself. Right? Maybe in, the, in your breakout groups later, you can discuss those questions. Okay. Another quote. Fellowship is a place of grace where mistakes aren't rubbed in but r- rubbed out. Fellowship happens when mercy wins over justice. That's by Rick Warren. See, Rick Warren is the author of Purpose Driven Life book. This, this messages, our messages, this series is loosely based on that. All right. So guys, yun lang yung points ko. Uh, with, with, uh, with the question, diba, how can we do Christian fellowship? I gave you some points. Yun sa, yun sa Acts, yun sa Hebrews, diba? And they devoted themselves to the teachings and they had fellowship. Guys, these aren't uh, formulas. This need to formula. They are nasa Bible. 
I'm giving you examples. Guys, so guys, now I challenge you guys, I challenge everyone to create your own how-to for Christian fellowship. Of course, based on the Bible, diba? We've tackled the what is fellowship, the difference with fellowship and Christian fellowship, why we need fellowship, diba? And, ha- and I gave some, some how-tos. But guys, I challenge you guys, create your own how-tos. Talk to God. Ask for guidance kay God. Pero hindi pa naman ako tapos. So, medyo, how many pages pa? Oh, I have three more pages. All right. So, where am I? Conclusion. Okay. With that said, and with the, di ba? We were, again, what did they say? Tonight is about fellowship. We talk about fellowship. We were made for fellowship. Yeah. It's our horizontal relationship. And the talk ni Matt uh, two weeks ago was our vertical relationship. Our ver- uh, the Bible shows us two important aspects of Christian fellowship. Again, the vertical and the horizontal. It can be summed up by two commandments, by the, uh, by the two greatest commandments. In Matthew 22, 37 to 38, can, he, can everyone read he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. This is our this is our vertical. Vertical. Man to God, God to man. This is our vertical relationship. And the next Next is Matthew again Matthew 22 39 to 40. Again, for the for the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend the whole law and the prophets. And this is our horizontal relationship. Again. Again. Matthew 22 you shall What's the first commandment, greatest for, first commandment? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. And the second commandment is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And these two commandments depend on the law, on the law and the prophets. Okay. For, okay. for Christian fellowship to be complete, we have to have both. For Christian fellowship, eh? we can't do it na isa lang. We can't do it without the vert- We can't do the horizontal relationship without the vertical relationship. Diba? It's a command. Eh? Diba? Love one another. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But how can we love? Diba? Nasa Bible naman eh. It's in the Bible. The answer is in the Bible. How can we love? In 1 John 4, 19, 22, we love because He first loved us. Diba? If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God who he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that the one who loves God should love his brother also. Again, how? How can we love? How can we love, guys? We love because He first loved us. Guys, regardless of how hard that person, that one person is to love, we're still capable of loving that person. Diba? Yun yung mga tao na we call what? EGRs. EGRs meaning extra grace required to love them. Diba? There's, a, there's this... <laughs> What? Extra that you have to give for you to love them. Regardless, we are capable of loving people. We are able to love because He first loved us. We can only completely love one another after we first love God. If we have that relationship with Christ, then everything will fall into place. Our fellowship with others is only as good as our fellowship with Christ. Again, 
it is our vertical and our horizontal relationship, which is also through Christ. You guys agree? I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me the strength. It's only through Christ that we're able to love. Okay. Gawa tayo. Uh, exercise tayo. Uh, can everyone stand up? May activity lang tayo saglit. Everyone stand up. Only through Christ, di ba? Let's stay this hand. Yung five na anything important to you. Family, friends, fellowship. Yan, itong lima. And this one is represented by God. Di ba? Then, i- ano nyo sa gilid? <laughs> the sides. Alright. Then, ikot-ikot nyo ganun. The joke lang. Ganyan lang. <laughs> so guys, where do you focus yourself? Doon sa five? O doon kay Christ? It's so hard, di ba? Do you guys agree? Keep your hands up. Di ba tayo It's so hard, di ba? To focus. In, these things are important naman. Our family, our friends, our work. This one, we focus on Christ. Guys, pag dito, if you focus on one thing, di ba? The others get blurred. So it's hard. But if you focus on Christ, guys, subukan nyo, focus on Christ. Then bring it behind. Yeah. What happens to the five? It blurs out. Why? Why does it blur out? Because God, because Christ will take care of that. Okay? Do you na na intindihan nyo? Okay, okay, okay. Clap. <laughs> Slow clap talaga. Slow clap talaga. Anyway, so again, we go back to our relationship, our fellowship. We can only fix our horizontal. You guys, you can sit down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can sit down. We can only fix our horizontal relationship once we first fix our vertical relationship. Diba? Again, this one. Try read. Christian fellowship is? Christian fellowship is doing things together for the purpose of glorifying God. Ha, again, how do we do Christian fellowship? Is first, we have to fix our vertical relationship, our relationship with God. <coughs> Guys, a question. Do you have that vertical relationship? Do you have that relationship with Christ? If not, if you don't, how can you love others or have proper Christian fellowship if you don't have that relationship? Ask yourself that. Ito, last quote. Last na. Bilis, no? <laughs> last na. Remember, ito, by Billy Graham. Remember, he wants your fellowship. And he has done everything possible to make it a reality. He has forgiven your sins at the cost of his own dear son. He has given you his word and the priceless privilege of prayer and worship. So guys, again, before we, we were talking about fellowship, we were talking how we were made for fellowship. Why we need fellowship. What is fellowship? Why we need fellowship? But first, what we need to is our relationship with God. Our relationship with Christ. Amen. All right. With that, okay, let's close in prayer. Father, uh, we just thank you for this night, Father. Thank you for somewhat teach, uh, thank you for teaching us about fellowship, Lord. Why we need fellowship. That we were made for fellowship, Father. But Father, before we can fix our horizontal relationship, our fellowship with one another, Father. We need to fix our relationship with you, Father. So, Lord, we just confess to you, Father, that we need you, Father. If, if, you're not yet, if, if anyone here is not yet sure 
of their vertical relationship. And if you want to be sure now, you can just pray this simple prayer. Lord, I need you. Father, I want to fix my horizontal relationships. But Father, I need to fix my relationship with you first. Father, I confess to you, Lord, that I'm a sinner and that I need you to save my life. Father, I invite you in my life. Would you be the center of my life, Father? Again, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your son. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he died for me. Jesus, we pray. And Father, as we, and for those who already have that fellowship, Father, would you help us? Would you guide us? Would you give us discernment, Father, on how to handle our horizontal relationships? And how, just how to do Christian fellowship, Father? How to be good examples, Father? Just help us to be, to, to just focus on you, Father. Help us to do things for your purpose and for your glory as a, as, as a family, Father. As friends, Father, again, we lift up this time to you, Father. We thank you for this time, Lord. As we go to our breakout, breakout sessions, Father, would you uh, guide us? Would you give us the uh, right questions, Lord, the right answers, Father? Would you help us discuss among ourselves how to have a, a proper a Christian fellowship? Father, again, we thank you for this time, Lord. Thank you for this night. Father, we lift up the rest of the night. Would you bless us? Would you be in our means, Father, as you said in Matthew? Again, Lord, we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.